In this video, we're going to be looking at the installation and wiring of the Energy Hub inverter. So to start with, mount the bracket on the wall and fix it with appropriate fixings to support the weight of the inverter depending on the wall material. The Energy Hub inverter comes with a pre-wired and connected antenna for Wi-Fi. So simply click that in position. So to remove the cover from the DCD to be able to access the AC and DC connections. The Energy Hub inverter comes to the provision for the inverter to be able to take conduit entries from 25 to 32 mil. So to start with, we're going to be bringing in the DC connections. This could either be from the DC combiner or direct from the associated PV and batteries directly. So simply plug in the DC plus and negative terminals. For the DC, ensure that bootlace ferrules are always used to ensure good quality connection. If two into one connections are being used, so that could be from the battery and PV together, use a two into one bootlace ferrule. So the Energy Hub DCD has the provision to take all the various different earth connections. So from the battery, simply wire the earth. The Energy Hub also has the inbuilt Modbus meter. All that is required is for the CT connection to be wired.
and then simply fit the CT onto the incoming connection from the grid with the arrow pointing towards the grid. And simply wire the AC connections to the gland with the markings provided, live, neutral and ground. Then the switchboard, also simply wiring the neutral, earth, and the live to an appropriately sized MCB. If wiring onto three phase property and you require the three phase voltage reference, simply remove the cover over the voltage connections of the meter. Pull out the AC connector and simply add the L2 and L3 references. Replace the connector and replace the cover. And you'd also then need to add the L2 and L3 CTs. For the communications and other accessory connections, you need to then access the communications board. So remove the top cover of the inverter. As you can see, the inverter comes with a pre-wired Wi-Fi. However, if the Wi-Fi is not going to be used, remove the antenna. Solar Edge offer the Telstra SIM card accessory so if this is going to be used as an alternative for the communications, simply add the comms board to the top of the communications panel and wire and connect the antenna. In addition, for communication with Solar Edge smart home devices, the solar edge home battery or the inline meter, you can connect the additional card for the solar edge home network. This will also require an additional antenna, which you can connect to the other side of the inverter and plug the card in. Alternatively for communications, you can connect in RS-485 Ethernet. If the solar edge home battery is being connected by RS-485, you can also need to wire the battery to the battery terminal on the communications terminal connections on the left-hand side of the DCD. This port is also used for LG Prime battery connections.
and then simply replace the covers. And that concludes the wiring for the Sol Edge Energy Hub Inverter.